Sounds like Cotto has trouble at the mill. Someone is vexed behind that door. Excuse the mess. Another bottle broke. It's no big business. Are you sure you're all right? You seem a little overwhelmed. Uh, a bottle fell from its shelf. No big business, Mr. McRaith. Happens all the time. Are you all right? If you must know, sir. I have a drinking problem. Really? I do. My liquor disappears. My bottles fall to the floor and break, though I'm nowhere near. Tis a drinking problem indeed. Objects inexplicably vanishing, moving or breaking. Either you're haunted or you're clumsier than you think. Haunted, you say? Mm, well, Your Majesty, why not? As the saying goes, when life gives you a torrent of shit, may as well be haunted. You could be in danger. To be haunted is really good. Well, now, that is bad news. Which is good, because I don't believe in good news. I'm offering you my help. Can you afford to refuse it? I don't believe in helping hands either. But if you want to do whatever it is you do, please feel free to do it. When did the bottle breaking start? I don't know. I gave up on keeping track of time, or things. Normally, if a bottle disappears, I drank it and forgot. But I'm not wrong about this. In quiet moments, I hear the bottle glass crack. When I'm not there, the liquor moves about. Other times, they dare to fall of a sudden, out of nowhere, and break upon the floor. The shelves are straight and proper stacked. I had Ishmael check. Tis a mystery, right enough. Ishmael and you were close, I believe. Oh, how folk love to talk. They're wrong. There's nothing improper between me and Ishmael. He works for me, and we enjoy each other's company. He's a good friend who lives upstairs. I have my own little house across the way. Ah, oh, talk of an angel. Hear the flutter of his wings. Phoebe, what's the matter? Oh, good day. Oh, well, it's just another bottle broke. I'd blame my butterfingers, but Mr. Banisher here thinks we may have a ghost. God take my soul. I'm sorry. The spilled liquor. The stink. Come now. Come now. I'm sorry. All is well, Ishmael. Breathe. Just breathe. It's just another worry fit. You'll be fine. While he gets back on his feet, let's look around. Broken glass. She said bottles in her house shifted and fell. We should check it out. You're safe. Mia, not going anywhere. Poor Ishmael has fits of worry. Hard to know why he reacted so strongly. What can a ghost only communicate by breaking wee bottles? An insidious ghost, trying to slowly drive its victim crazy. Phoebe Walcott's done well for herself. Her own warehouse and pier at Covenant Beach. A ghost was here. Not long ago. Phoebe likes a drink. Or five. 
Maybe that vexes our mysterious ghost. This is as sad as it is disturbing. Despite her defiance, her past batters her. I know Phoebe and Ishmael are friends, but that's a generous will. Our shy, bottle-breaking ghost also hides things. Why the will? Everything Ishmael has, he gets from her. Perhaps the ghost thinks Ishmael is being ensnared. I doubt there's anything more to be found here. Let's go back to the store and ask a few more questions. Have you found your ghost? How's Ishmael? Feeling better, is he? He's cleaning up the broken glass. I've buggered off till he's finished, and you should too. Would you know, by any chance, what, what pulls the trigger on his crises? He deals with his pain as best he can, like all of us. You leave him alone now, yeah? Your troublesome ghost meddles with more than your booze. It also hid your will. I knew things were vanishing. It wasn't just the liquor. Whose ghost do you think might hide your liquor and your will? Sounds like my long-dead husband's particular brand of mischief. Ghosts may linger long in the invisible before returning. If you've liquor stocked elsewhere, I'd like to check it. I would too, sir. But I abandoned my warehouse some time ago and have since lost the keys. Ishmael may have spares. His room is upstairs, right over our heads. A trusted friend, is he? <sighs> Despite his efforts to keep me alive, I consider him my one and only friend. May I see your wares? I'm a shopkeeper, aren't I? Yes, you may see my wares. Thank you for your time. I'll take no more of it for now. No matter. I've all the time in the world. Beware. Wards. Thank you. Anytime. Wet sand. Did Ishmael go to the sea recently? There's a beach by Phoebe Walcott's warehouse. Or is Ishmael running his own business behind his drunk boss's back? Wet sand. Did Ishmael go to the sea recently? There's a beach by Phoebe Walcott's warehouse. Or is Ishmael running his own business behind his drunk boss's back? So our mysterious ghost also took time to hide that key. Must be important. 
This Bible really annoyed him. I hope he kept his opinion to himself. A widow, drunk and inconsolable. And a widower, sober and inconsolable. Hmm. Also, a shy, bottle-breaking ghost. That's not a lot to go on. Ishmael took a risk keeping this, especially around here. Was he scared of a ghost? I'd like to ask him about that. What exactly does this ghost want? There's no clear pattern. Banisher rule number one, a ghost always lingers for a reason. Let's have a chat with Ishmael Law. Mr. Law? How can I help you, sir? Kind of easy to work for someone who drinks so much. Phoebe Walcott deals with her pain the only way she knows. But you, you dislike heavy drinkers, don't you? My friend is wounded by the horrors of the world. She drinks so that she does not weep. But I weep enough for two. What can you tell me about Covenant Beach? Not much, sir. There's a locked warehouse there. The ghost that haunts this store hid the key. That was Mistress Walcott's storehouse. The centre of her business. It's derelict now. But you've been there of late, haven't you? I found sand from the beach in your lodgings. Why did you go to the warehouse? And why would the ghost hide the key to it? I don't know what you are scraping for, mister, but you'll not find it on my boots. I'll see you later, Ishmael. Any time, sir. Strict. In this case, we found nothing conclusive. The warehouse by the beach is the only lead left. Let's go. Ishmael's nerves and Phoebe's thirst reminds me of the good old days. Just lie me down in a puddle of piss and had a couple of angry ghosts. The ghost may be discreet, even sneaky, but these two are haunted. Ishmael's wife, perhaps? Ishmael's old master was a drunk too. Alcohol has to be the key to this case. Wasn't I always? Thank <laughs> you. 
today. Precise. Well done.
standing by. Did we miss a few? Dodge! You're wasting your time on this one. Phoebe Walcott's warehouse is bigger than I'd imagined. She had quite the business. Little remains. This is locked from the inside. This would be a perfect smuggler's hideout. You think it could be? At this point in the case, anyone and anything is suspicious. Right, let's go find some answers. I feel an echo ringing, like a hum. I should have killed him. Killed that dog with my bare hands. <laughs> Bess, my poor love, forgive me. Ishmael Law drinks just as much as Miss Walcott, except he hides it. So by spilling the liquor and hiding the key to the warehouse... The ghost may be trying to stop him drinking, not her.
The roots won't remain visible for long after I take the heart. Be quick. I take the heart, you take the roots. Do they? More corrupted ivy waiting to be plucked out. Pay me good money. Ishmael must have been absolutely hammered.
Victor Yitsoska. Did I just do the wrong ritual? Spirit and flesh, I summon you! I failed this one all right. Imaradas en tus. Bess, there was no God to mind you in this miserable life. And none to welcome you to the next. What is this place? Where am I? I'm so sorry, Bess. Ishmael? My husband? There is no heaven, and yet I shall go to hell. Stop torturing yourself. Less? But how? Why? What have you become, Ishmael Lo? You must stop all of this. Live better. So that's our discreet ghost, Bess Law. Bess felt his struggle and came back to him after all these years. We need Bess's tie. That way we can make her manifest. Here, Red, the bag, there's an echo. What? Written recognition of Ishmael's freedom after the mother of his wife, Bess. We found our tie. We have the tie. We can make Bess manifest. Who are you? Why am I here? You must be wife to Ishmael Law. My name is Antea Duarte. This is Red McWraith. We are banishers. Will you banish the ghost of Bess Law? Will it ease her pain? First things first. You're not after Phoebe Walcott, right? You're here for Ishmael. I don't know why I'm here. I just want the pain to stop. You're dead a long time, Bess. What brought you back now? My husband. His... Drunkenness roused my pain, and brought me back to him. I was nowhere, and nothing. And then, all of a sudden, the world appeared with me in it, and I saw Ishmael, desperate on the floor. Are you saying that you stay because he was drunk? I stay because I cannot leave. The memory of my pain is growing. And it is unbearable. They brought me back. Ishmael and his pain. That woman and her poison. They must stop. They suffer. They didn't mean to bring you back. Their intentions matter not. Her madness is becoming his. I am trapped in their pain. I am trapped in their pain because of her sway over my husband and I want it all to stop. We'll take our leave. Expect to be invited to manifest again sometime soon. Don't resist the call. Ishmael and Phoebe will be there. Who? Your husband and his friend. Between us, we'll put an end to all of this. Be quick. I can barely hear my Ishmael now, above the rising, growing pain.
We finally unraveled this sad case. Aye. Uh -huh. Sadness over pain, over outrage, over guilt. It's a sick dance, isn't it? Ishmael and Phoebe remind me of where I stood for a time. I remember. Piss off! I was ruined. The things I'd done, that poor. The ghosts of those who died haunted me. I had to choose. Drink myself to death or get rid of my ghosts. You chose well. I got lucky. I found you. And you saved me and Thea from my ghosts. And you saved me from myself. Spectre's seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Hugging all the fun. to be ashamed. <laughs> Mr. McGrath, welcome back. Ishmael's not feeling well. Best leave him be. More trouble? He had another episode. Same as before. He's fine now. I gave him a drink. And this time, he took it. Ishmael has history with liquor. Should you be offering him drink? I'm the town drunk. What else am I supposed to do? Anyway, 
He's got a dry stick up his ass. It'll do him good to wet it. It is liquor. I suspect you may be overestimating its medicinal qualities. By dint of extensive experience, I am better placed to estimate the power of liquor than anyone. Side, he always turns it down. Shame, really. Nothing like a sip or two to soothe a troubled soul. Ishmael Law is haunted by the ghost of his wife. But even without her, this whole situation is a mess. Time we all had a wee chat. You too, Bess. Come on. It's time to show yourself. Phoebe Walcott, this is Bess Law. Bess, you already know Phoebe. Bess? My love? How? I thought I was dreaming. You were really here? I was. I am now. And not for long. Please. Oh, your best. The best. His best. Ishmael is fine, don't worry. Or, well, he will be soon. Ishmael has been drinking as much as you do. Liquor won't solve the problem here. Of course it won't. But we'll have some fun while we wait to not solve anything. You make him suffer, woman. And I cannot stand the pain. Talk not to me about pain, lady. You know nothing of my pain. Shut your mouth, Phoebe. You shoot yours, if you can take the bottle from it. Stop rattling each other's cages. It is time to bring this to a close. Ishmael Law, your secret addiction brought your dead wife back. Consumed by the memory of her murder, she is rapidly turning into a spectre. Bess must rest in peace. If I am a problem, then we shall solve it. You must solve it. Who is this man that speaks my name? Is he the reason I suffer? You'll feel a momentary pain, and it'll all be over. Bess, my love, you are free at last. Rejoice, my dearest. What? What happened? What, what have you done to him? Is he all right? Ishmael! Ishmael!